So in the last lesson, we learned how to create variables in JavaScript using the let and const keyword, and we saw some of the different types of data that you can store in your variables. In this lesson, we're just going to run through the different types of data that you can use in JavaScript, and how to identify the type of data that's stored in a variable. So I've got two variables defined here at the moment, age and name, and it should be fairly clear that the age has got a numeric value, and the name variable has got a text value stored in it. So we can say the data type of age is a number and the data type of name is a string. And we can check that using the type of operator in JavaScript. So on our console if we type type of age, you can see in the output on the right we get the value of number. And if we do the same thing for name as well, you can see we're being told the data type of name is a string. So really whole numbers and strings are kind of the most common data types that you'll come across in JavaScript. But what about decimal numbers? So numbers that have got a decimal point in them. So let's just create another variable up here and we'll call it a bank balance, for example. And we'll set that to 3235. And you can see the console's quite happy with that. Uh, let's try and get the type of that data now. And so JavaScript just tells us that the type of bank balance is actually a number as well. So there's no distinction between a whole number, an integer, and a decimal number, a floating point number. So what about if we've declared a variable but we've not actually assigned it a value? So we could have something like a variable called nothing here that has no value. If we try and get the type of that now, you'll see we get this special undefined value come back for its data type, and that's because we've declared the variable, JavaScript knows about it, but we've not actually assigned a value to it yet. So JavaScript's letting us know that the variable's there, but it doesn't know what data type it is because we haven't given it a value yet. So there is one other type of data type that's quite important for us in JavaScript, uh, and that is the object data type. But an object in JavaScript can be so many different things that we're not gonna delve into what they could be here. There are different types of things that can be an object like an array, an actual object literal, and a function, and we're going to cover those in separate lessons later in the course. So hopefully this lesson's given you a bit of an overview of the different types of data in JavaScript and how you can find out what particular type of data a variable is holding, as we'll look at how we can convert between the different types of data.